Today we have a fun handmade craft for you and your family to enjoy this upcoming Christmas season. Using our pre-cut wool kits designed by Sue Spargo and a few extra supplies, you can create this cute advent calendar. A downloadable pattern is available in the description box for you to follow. We've chosen these three kits, butterfly, house, and bird and tree, and rearranged the patterns into a Christmas theme. Check out the link in this video or description box to learn more about these pre-cut kits. To make some of the pockets in the calendar, remove the 6 inch by 6 inch background fabric included in the pre-cut wool kits. Cut it into quarters so that you have four 3 inch squares. Do this with the other two kits so you have a total of 12 3 inch squares. However, we still need more pockets. So I need 10 2 and a quarter inch squares and one single 4 and a half inch square. Now I'll need to cut the numbers for the pockets. Use the pattern in the description box as a template to cut out the numbers. Finally, I need my background fabric cut at 22 by 29 inches. I'm using a yarn dye cotton fabric, but you can use whatever you think will complement the wool fabric. I'm going to lay the pieces out on the background fabric and arrange them where I want them. Raw edge applique the numbers to the squares. I'll be using the 12 weight low lint cotton thread called spaghetti. It's a thicker thread that will pop and look more decorative when I stitch with it. After each number is appliqued to its box, I can now begin stitching my boxes down. Using the same spaghetti thread, I'm going to sew along the left, bottom and right sides of the square while leaving the top open. I'll also applique the wool pre-cuts down. Remember to start with the pieces that will lay at the very back and move your way forward to the pieces that will sit at the front. Now that all my pieces are appliqued in place, I can add hand embroidery stitches to spruce it all up. This is an 8 weight pearl cotton thread called Eleganza, which is the perfect for hand embroidery stitches. Your pre-cut wool kits will include instructions on basic hand stitches so follow along with these stitch cards to decorate your calendar. When everything is embroidered the way you want it, we can finish it with a pillowcase finishing technique. Your backing fabric and your batting needs to be cut larger than your background fabric. So I cut this at 26 inches by 34. With your batting and backing face up, place your panel face down so that the right sides are together. Now you are ready to stitch it together. Stitch the edges down with a quarter inch seam allowance, leaving a six inch opening on one side and don't forget to back stitch at each end. Now trim seams to approximately one half inch. To make sure everything is stitched down well, I'm going to go around again a second time this time with a 1 8 inch seam allowance, starting and stopping at the same 6 inch gap. Flip your piece inside out through the opening. Then give it a press with the iron to make your edges nice and crisp. Now stitch down the opening, making sure to enclose all the edges. To finish the edge, Stitch approximately a quarter inch in all the way around your advent calendar. As a final step, I'll do some straight stitching between the design to help hold down the front, the batting, and the backing together. This can be done either by machine or by hand. That's all there is to it. Now you can tuck candy, small toys, or a heartfelt message to be discovered each day until Christmas. These wool pre-cut kits designed by Sue Spargo make adorable decorations to give it that special touch. 
Using our downloadable pattern as a template, get creative and make your own designs with your own color choices and hand embroidery stitches to give it that special touch. Hope you have fun creating your advent calendar and wishing you a great start to your holiday season from all of us at Wonderful Specialty Threads.